Good morning, welcome back, and thank you to all our new subscribers. Uh, we seem to have got quite a lot of new subscribers over the last two videos, so uh, thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy this one. Um, right, today I'm going to go up into that room up there, which is our tower room. And you saw me in there a couple of weeks ago, um, removing the paint from that little granite window. Well, that's the other side of that room, and we've got the large one here. And I thought I'd show you from this angle because you can get a sense of how dark it is in that room. And it's all because of these three trees. I believe they're hazelnut trees and they were planted by the previous owner back in the 80s. Uh, so they're good 40 odd years old. Um, but the trouble is they're too close to the building and it's just too dark in there as a result. So there are three. The two nearest me we're definitely going to take down, but we're just waiting for the nesting season to end, uh, which is next couple of weeks or so. We don't want to make we want to make sure there's no nesting birds in there and disturb them. So those two will come down. The one by the wall there, um, we may keep it there. It doesn't seem to have damaged the wall in any way, um, but it may come down. And then that room will have plenty of light. I think Susie's planning on. Um, doing a bit of tidying up in this corner so you should see that in this vlog uh, but in the meantime I'm going to the walled garden because if you remember last week um, we were clearing that patch of soil and well the mound uh, right by the building and I want to continue that and just get that properly finished because we couldn't get the digger next to the building because uh, of lack of foundations so I'm going to have to do that by hand so I'm going to go and do that now Well, I'm just smoothing this off and I've raked through it and sifted and I've got a couple of bins which I'm going to put onto the uh, compost bin. But uh, I have uh, come across one slight problem. <laughs> and that had some grass on, but it's just on the surface, I'm afraid. So I'm going to have to move that, but it's getting far too hot and I'm not going to move that today. I'll have to get my crowbars out and gently lever it out. Uh, but I'm going to smooth this off the best I can, uh, which will only take me another minute or two. And of course I've then got the problem of these rocks here. Um, so once I've sorted these rocks out, but I, I'm not going to do them today, it's too hot. Um, uh, you know, that'll smooth off nicely and then I can get the mower over into that corner. Whilst Ros is in the walled garden, I'm going to have a tidy up here because this has gone a bit mad, it's like a jungle. Um, you'll probably recall the first year we moved in we chopped all this back, but it's gone a bit wild so didn't get to do anything last year. The fig tree has got to go and I, I need this wisteria sorted out. Uh, we're going to train that along this side of the house to meet up with the other one, but I, I need a pergola.
well that's cleared a lot of it there's an awful lot of wire here um, here obviously used to support some vines or something in the past but all the brambles have become attached to them uh, okay well that lot can go in the van that's all sharp and it's all horrible stuff so i'm not composting that that's going to the dechette uh, it's getting a bit hot now i'm calling it a day here and i'll carry on tomorrow morning so i've just got to level all this out and then start sifting through it get any big stones big sticks anything that can, can get caught up in the lawnmower i need to clear and then we're nearly there really um I know when I first started talking about this area, a lot of people said, I'll oh, just get a digger in, you will have no problem, it'll do the job. But of course, getting the digger in, as you've seen, is only part of the job. And you can't get skips out here in rural France. So once you've got the digger in, you've still got to get rid of it. So, but that's okay, we're making progress. But I'm gonna get a cold drink and then uh, I think I'll go up into the tower room. Well, I think that's all I'm doing today. It's too hot. Yeah, it's getting a bit. It's the hottest day so far. It's 31 degrees. No, you've um, done well. That's, that looks amazing already. Really clear now. I mean, you know. Yeah, you couldn't really see out that winter. No. Um, yeah, I'll be pleased when those trees go, actually. Yeah, well, just giving the any... I don't think there's any nests in them, but uh, and just now, make sure. We'll give it a couple of weeks and we'll take them down. I need... Um, well, I found more ivy to scrape off. <laughs> Always ivy. The dreaded <laughs> ivy. Ah, but that's looking better already, love. Anyway, I've been cleaning all morning as well, so I'm just yeah. too hot. Well, I'm going to go to the tower room. I'm, what, you're banished to there? I'm banished to there, yeah. My prison. <laughs> <laughs> of glass water. Mm. you'd like to see our hollyhocks. Um, this has seeded itself I think. We've got four all together. I really love them. Um, they remind me of my granny and granddad's garden in the UK. They had a typically English sort of cottage garden and they used to grow these by the pond. They're just so delicate, pretty. I love this colour really vibrant. It's got loads of buds on, but they're all beautiful really. And we've got three more here. Um, they're all different. This one, similar colour to the first one, but the other one had a darker inner circle on it. But they're just lovely. These lilies are spectacular. Um, when we first moved in, I thought it was just a load of leaves growing and I cut them all back and then last year I couldn't do anything and they suddenly sprouted and now I realise how beautiful they are.
and that's a really welcome sight if you go down here you'll see how brown our lovely green grass has got that's because we've had no rain for four weeks so that is very welcome Well, that's it folks. Um, as usual, a little bit of remedial stuff to do. There's bits of filler in, uh, there's a fair bit up there, a bit untidy, so I've got to take a chisel to that and uh, smooth it off a bit and then 
uh, repoint and I'll try and match uh, the colour of the, the mortar. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's not looking too bad. So a lot of effort, but it's worth the effort. So that's fine. So we've had a bit of excitement here this week. Uh, we had our first earthquake, <laughs> uh, which was about 40 kilometres away. And uh, we got an alert um, on the phone from Google. And um, my phone was ne next to me at the time and it pinged and it was a really strange, unusual sound and I'd never heard it before. So I went straight to the phone and all I saw was uh, Google earthquake alert. And then all of a sudden, bang, um, the whole place shook, really shook. <laughs> uh, it's quite a shocker, actually. Um, but, you know, it didn't cause any damage. Um, and we've had one or two aftershocks, apparently, but they've been at night and I haven't noticed those, but Susie has. Um, so, yeah, we are in an earthquake zone, but we figured this place had been, you know, up for 600 years. So we weren't particularly concerned about it. And France... They do, it does have earthquakes, but they're generally not that strong. So, yeah, that was um, interesting. Um, and we'd like to, again, thank all new subscribers. Um, we've had uh, quite, a, quite a few more since starting the filming of this vlog. So hopefully we're doing something right. And big, big thank you um, to those who have contributed on Buy Me A Coffee this week. Uh, let me see, I've got to do this off the top of my head. Um, Natasha, who um, saw an item on our wish list and has purchased it for us, or has given us the money, and we've now purchased it ourselves. That way we, we avoid import taxes, that sort of thing, so we can buy it uh, in France. And Gary did the same. He found an item on our wish list and uh, paid for it. And then Michelle, who you've heard me mention many a time, she started off one of our items, and then uh, Pip and Claude... Uh, you'll remember Pip and Claude from last autumn. They came over and visited us in their camper van and um, they actually saw this item and, and paid the rest on it. So that's the third item. That, that's um, a soap making uh, starter kit because uh, we, we want to do something with all our rosemary and lavender um, and soap is a great uh, way of you know doing that. So so thank you to all those and thank you to Paul who also contributed on uh, buying me a coffee. Um, so thank you, that's really kind. And a big welcome to Karen who became a patron this week. And I know Karen's already been clicking on one or two of the, uh, the posts on the Patreon. So thank you, Karen. Well, well, welcome aboard. Um, right, that's, what, that's it for this one, I think. Um, I'm pretty tired after that, so I'm calling it a day. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.